We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. John. John says, Dolby AC4, what is it? Will it provide Atmos? Well, this, are these twi- tweets? Is that why they're so short? <laughs> John knows you very well, Tom. He knows that the shorter he keeps the question, the more likely a forthcoming response. All right, I'm going to read um, all three of these at the same time so that we can yes. just use power through them because I don't know the answers. Honestly, guys, uh, I had the world's longest weekend, and last week was crazy terrible, and I'm still recovering. You can hear it in my voice. I'm still recovering from I worked most of the weekend and I'm just I'm, I'm destroyed so I didn't get a chance to review it literally usually I say hey you know oh, I'm totally unprepared I've gone through the questions I just haven't <laughs> I haven't done, I have not I am reading these for the first time right now and I feel really guilty about it I feel really bad so John I'm sorry but uh, Rob's got my back luckily and next week I promise to bring my A game John says Dolby AC4 what is it will it provide Atmos when is it set to be released in the US and will receivers get a firmware update will people need to buy new receivers so AC4 AC4 so first of all uh, Dolby thankfully has actually put up a PDF uh, that explains uh, they get into quite technical detail like they really get into the encoding structure and the decoding structure so it it gets very techy if you want it to but they have a PDF uh, largely explaining uh, what AC4 is all about so maybe the easiest thing to do to say to say right now is if you're watching HD TV right now watching broadcast TV uh, you are getting AC3 audio Dolby AC3 audio Okay. which comes out of the TV in the form of a Dolby Digital 5.1 signal or sometimes a Dolby Digital 2.0 signal. That's allowable as well. Uh, but that is Dolby AC3. So Dolby AC4 is their new format that they want to attach to ultra high definition broadcast TV and they also want to make it available for streaming services. And it is their most efficient compression format ever it is even more efficient than Dolby Digital Plus which was already more efficient than the original Dolby Digital so this is all about saving bandwidth this is good now Dolby AC4 allows you to they they actually allow for a 7.1.4 channel mix if you want to do that Uh, which, of course, will be in the form of an Atmos signal coming out of whatever device is using that. They also allow for object-based audio, which would be Atmos, um, and they allow for everything 7.1, 5.1, down to 2.0. So it's up to the content creator, whatever format they want to use from 2.0 all the way up to 7.1.4 channels or 7.1 with object audio on top of it anything that the content creator wants to do it can be put through a dolby ac4 encoder and become a dolby ac4 uh piece of of data that would go out with an ultra hd tv broadcast so when will it be released in the u.s whenever atsc 3.0 finally goes live because um, it definitely looks like Dolby AC4 will be the audio format used by the new ATSC what, 3.0. DTSX isn't going to be, be DTS? Oh, they dropped out. Uh, MPEG-H is still plugging away. Uh, Technicolor and Fraunhofer are still God. out there trying to make MPEG-H a thing. They, I just they haven't said how, how it works, how much it costs, how to implement They haven't done any of that because they're way behind. It's like seven so. years ago or something like that, six <laughs> years ago, seven years ago when I first started this podcast, we were talking about compression codecs and stuff and people were talking yeah. about streaming 1080p and how it was impossible and it was never going to happen. I'm like, <laughs> it's going to happen. They're just going to figure out a way to, to encode it in such a way that we can get this. And now look at this. With 7.1.4 audio that's crazy man but uh right in the pdf they show examples of a dolby ac4 audio stream that's part of the broadcast or part of a a streaming service you know netflix could start using this voodoo could start using this they're going to make it available in fact we might see it there first it might those services might start using it before broadcast actually gets around to it that's entirely possible uh but they show it Going from there, now there has to be a Dolby AC4 decoder somewhere in the signal chain. Sure. But 
everything that Dolby showed in this PDF was the playback device having that decoder. So that could be a Roku box. Oh, okay. In the yeah, okay. That could yeah, be yeah. your So you then know, your it sends out as PCM then. Yeah, so it, it will either send out PCM or uh, they have it there sending out an Atmos bit stream. Sure. So one of their diagrams was very clearly, they, they showed it exceedingly clearly, an existing, you can buy it today, Dolby Atmos AV receiver receiving the signal coming out of a Dolby AC4 playback device. So they're like, this is definitely the plan. The plan is not that everyone will have to buy a new AV receiver, that the playback device... Uh, by being a Dolby AC4 device, part of the decoder chip will be that it'll either turn it into PCM or an Atmos signal that your existing AV receiver can understand. Now, they did make mention of, currently there are no AV receivers with AC4 decoder chips built in. Sure. Which implies that one day there might be. Right? I'm sure there will so, be. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there but will the, be. But they're very cognizant of the fact that people have bought existing Atmos receivers. They're like, no, you you will not have... But something, something in the single chain will need an AC4 decoder. So yeah. at some point in the future, they might get to the point where they go, we're not going to build the AC4 decoder chips into the playback device anymore because it's such a common thing. It's just taken over the industry. We're just going to send the bitstream out because now every AV receiver in existence has an AC4 decoder. Just like at, there was a time when AV receivers didn't have Dolby digital decoders. Sure. But eventually, and now, of course, they all do, right? Yeah. So, but that's looking many years down the future. Dolby definitely wants for existing receivers to be able to handle this. So there might so be a firmware update to existing hardware, but more likely it'll be the next iteration of yeah. Roku's and Google, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Certainly, looking at the PDF, it's very clear that the idea is to have the AC4 decoder chips built into the playback device. So it'll be your, in your cable box, in right. your next Roku, something like that. Right. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. is A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.